what is distinctly human? Is there anything that's ours alone? Our imaginary extraterrestrial observer think that there's anything we do that distinguishes us from every other living thing on Earth? Something that all or almost all of us of every culture throughout history have done and still do? Something that no other animal does? Plato was one of the earliest commentators to define what is human. He declared, man is a featherless biped. When news of Plato's definition reached the philosopher Diogenes, he brought a plucked chicken to Plato's academy, asking the assembled scholars to salute Plato's man. Plato's protege, Aristotle, took another crack at it. He said man is a social animal. Man is a political animal. But ants, Bees and termites have much better organized and much more stable social structures than we have. The 16th century French philosopher Michel de Montaigne wrote, As to fidelity, there is no animal in the world so treacherous as man. But he never dated a firefly. You know how fireflies blink on and off to attract a female? Well, some males sabotage their fellow fireflies come on by adding their own blinks. It's like hacking a friend's romantic message to his girlfriend and turning it into an insult. The female gets turned off and the saboteur now has his chance with her. Man, that's cold. Adam Smith, the 18th century Scottish philosopher, wrote in his classic justification of free enterprise capitalism that the propensity to barter, to exchange one thing for another, is to be found in no other race of animals. Is this true? Chimpanzees are fond of trade and understand the idea very well. Food for sex, a back rub for sex, betrayal of the leader for sex, spare my baby's life, for sex, virtually anything, for sex. Okay, but we're the only species that makes art, right? Except this work of art was created by a bowerbird. As was this one. And this one. We're the only species that parents their young through adolescence into adulthood. Wrong again. The elephants parent at least as long as we do. All right, well, we're the only species that enslaves and exploits other animals, keeping them in captivity. Tell that to this poor cockroach of the African savanna. An emerald wasp is stalking it to drug and enslave it in its basement. The wasp administers a venom which robs the cockroach of its will to escape. Turn on the lights and this is one roach that won't scurry away. Now the wasp drags the roach to her lair. Depositing a single egg on the roach's body. Before boarding up the entrance with rocks and pieces of wood. The idea is to keep the roach alive as long as possible so that its organs will remain fresh. The wasp's offspring will bore into the roach's body and feast upon it. 
When it's full grown, it will tunnel out of the roach's grave. Yeah, but what about using tools? Technology? Kissing? Could it be that, after all, our species' only real distinction is our neurotic need to feel special?